Hey all stars, it's your senior director Amanda Reitz here and today I wanted to show you guys real quick what I'm putting in my catalog hostess packets and this little online shopping pass that I created. I just did a scope about it but I'm going to upload a video for you guys here too. So what I do is I went to Red Stamp and I found a template that I liked and I uploaded this photo that I already had and you'll see I left all of the text blank. And then I blew up the image a little bit so that I could screenshot it. Um, you can do this on your phone as well and just save it as a picture. It's actually easier that way. But for some reason, this particular template wasn't on my phone, which is kind of a bummer because I thought it was perfect for this image. Then what I do is I save it as a JPEG and upload it to one of my favorite um, editing sites, which is pickmonkey.com. Once I upload the image here, um, and just a quick reminder how to do that is you just click on this butterfly here, and then you click your own image, and it will let you add anything from your computer, um, and you can do it that way, or you can actually go into pickmonkey.com and decide to edit it, um, just like it was a regular photo, and that's usually how I upload it for these particular purposes. I then created a text box. Again, you just go over here to your text section, pick out which font you want, um, and then I added it. So I put some information here, just online shopping pass. I have my website. I have three simple steps on how people can go to my website and order under my customer's party. Um, then I have my contact information and when the orders need to be in by. I just fancied it up a little bit over here by um, highlighting the text that I wanted to change the color, which you can just go over here and change the color using the color picker here. And once you select that, you'll see the color changes. So I just hovered over um, this particular color. And then I also selected some of my text here to highlight in a different font. So I went ahead over here and picked out the font once it was highlighted and it changed it just like that. After that, I saved the image to my desktop um, as a JPEG, um, high res, and then I pull up my JPEG and on my, whoops, hold on, let me select it first. Um, I pull up the JPEG and on my computer, I can simply just go to the print screen and here you'll see how it would look if it printed on a full page, but I actually want to make some smaller ones so I can add it to my packet. So I told it to put four on a page and you'll see there how it just puts four of them right there and then I print it just like that on cardstock. You could even do it on regular paper if you wanted to. But then my hostess has something that is gonna look like this. It prints four to a page, but then I just cut it down um, and she, she can just quickly hand these out to her friends, coworkers, neighbors, whatever, um, to encourage them to shop for her party. Also in her packet, I include the double-sided um, order form that I created, and that should be in the team Google Drive if you check that. It does have the October customer special at the top. Shout out to Christina. Thanks so much for creating an awesome graphic. Love you, girl. Um, I also put in the customer special. I put in another graphic from Christina, and this is the Flip Your Party graphic. This just kind of explains if they were interested in becoming a consultant, I really want them to join and turn this into their launch party because it's really hard after you have a party to join and then try to have another launch party. So this just gives them some information about um, joining 31 and how they can turn this party into their party and how I can help them with that. I also have a catalog online Facebook hostess guide that I created. And this again is in our team Google Drive. Um, it shows about the envelope challenge that I like to do um, as a hostess challenge to help get boost up her orders. It also shows three simple steps to how it's gonna work and tips for successful party. And then lastly, it has another little um, information blurb right there about whether they're interested in joining 31. Um, and my contact information, of course. I also have um, a catalog that I'm going to send to them. Sometimes I send two catalogs. It just depends. If I've already sent them a catalog in the season and now they want to host a party, I'll send them a second catalog just so I make sure that they have it. Because, you know, I may have sent them a catalog a couple months ago and it could be in their car. It could be in their bedroom. They may have no idea where it is. So um, that's that. And I hope you guys love this video. I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.